NASA is getting ready to launch two separate missions at the same time. A lot of things going on yeah. this weekend. <laughs> KKL News meteorologist, climatologist Marina Jericho is here to explain what scientists are hoping to learn. It was so excited. So uh, last <laughs> night we were supposed to launch, tonight we were supposed to launch, and now third time's a charm, hopefully. Sunday Ooh. night, Sunday night. So okay. two missions are going to be catching a ride to space this weekend. One focusing on our own star, the sun, and the other looking deep into the universe. Spherex will help us better understand the origins of our universe, while Punch will teach us more about the star that's closest to home. Joining us now is NASA Director of Heliophysics, Dr. Joe Westlake. Thanks for joining us today, Joe. Hey, thank you so much. So excited to be here to talk more about Spherex and Punch. This launch that's coming up is just amazing. So how will each of these missions study the stars to help us better understand that big picture of the cosmos? Yeah, it's amazing. If you think about it, they're sort of doing the complete opposite thing, right? Punch wants to understand our star. It wants to understand our star and how it affects here, us here on Earth, right? Whether it be the space weather, the solar maximum effects uh, that we see in these coronal mass ejections and flares that create the aurora across the U.S., right? It wants to understand that connection from the, the, the atmosphere of the sun all the way back to the Earth. And then SphereX, Spherex wants to look at everything but our star, <laughs> our sun, and it wants to look out into the universe to understand, you know, that broader impacts and understand the broader, you know, where we exist and, you know, the habitability of the universe and other things like that. Since it is solar max, can you talk a little bit about how interesting it is to have Punch observing the sun right now? We've seen amazing aurora across the U.S. this year, right? There was a huge solar storm in May. There was a big one in October. Both of them created auroral displays that you could see even down to L.A., right? And with those amazing auroral displays, that's the space weather. That's the end impact of what we see from Punch. Punch is looking at, at really the, the, the space weather as it comes from the sun and its full connection, its full trip from the sun all the way to the Earth. And so the two of those together, right, witnessing it on the Earth with the aurora and seeing it as it lifts off with punch gives us that great connection. Now, what sets these missions apart from their predecessors? I get this question a lot, like James Webb or Parker Solar Probe. What is going to be different about these two? Our fleet of missions are trying to understand everything about space, everything about our connection to our star and our connection to the universe. And so if I think about punch, for instance, we sent up four suitcase-sized spacecraft to create these artificial eclipses with these coronagraphs and to really look at efficiently that upper atmosphere and its connection to the Earth. This is a novel way of doing this with four independent satellites working together for the same goal. And then SphereX, right? SphereX, I think about, you know, James Webb Space Telescope and other things. It, we have all sorts of different cameras. We have all sorts of different telescopes. SphereX folds into that to give us a look at a different wavelength to give us a different understanding of the physics that creates the universe that creates the stars and galaxies around us. There is not one thing that can do it all. So we, yeah. need, we need a lot of tools in our toolbox for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Joe. Go Spherex and go Punch. Well, make sure to tune into NASA TV this Sunday at 7.09 p.m. and look to the western sky, and you could catch a glimpse of Punch and Spherex taking off from Vandenberg Space Force Base on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. We can usually get a good glimpse of it, but sure do. it is going to be amazing. And as you all know, I Ooh. went to Norway to do my research in January on just this, on space weather. And so uh -huh. because it's solar max, it's going to be an incredible time for us to not only observe here on Earth, but observe with Punch. It's going to give us our first 3D image of that solar solar wind of the sun's corona and it's so important mm. to be able to do that so we can actually predict those coronal mass ejections and that space weather coming to us oh, okay Exciting more times. importantly though this sunday we're going to have some showers and we're still going to be able to see I, it i know i hope so and it's so it, it, tonight's weather was perfect and i was so sad but i'm hoping sunday it's still okay because it can still launch with a few showers